We're the only ones. We're a family-run business, and we're the only ones that make them authentic. Okay, authentic. okay like I ask everybody that comes on the show, what inspires you to crack nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I do want to know because, you know, that's, I mean, because they're, they're very creative and very beautiful as they are, and I can't imagine them being functional as well. As right. Well, actually, they're not functional. They're, they're purely for decorative they're purposes. They're dysfunctional. Yeah, they're dysfunctional. I, I know yeah. a few people like that, too. Yeah. But no, I mean, the reason why we started, our family started making these is because um, I had a Latin themed Christmas party. Okay. And I wanted a mariachi nutcracker. I didn't want my German nutcrackers. I wanted a mariachi nutcracker. And when I started looking for one, what I found was so sad. And I really got upset because, I mean, it, was, it wasn't representing our culture and the beautiful tradition of the mariachi correctly. And so my husband, who now playfully regrets that he suggested that I make my own mariachi nutcracker. I'm sure he is. Yes, he regrets it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said, okay, I'll try it. And uh, my mom, who used to make uh, the Barbie clothes for me when I was a little girl, I said, mom, you know, do you want to make the clothes for the mariachi nutcracker? And she goes, sure, I'll do it. And so that's how it all started. And then because we love the folklorico, you know, you, we. You must have been very tiny if your mom made you Barbie clothes. <laughs> I, I was just wondering. She lo- I was, I was, I was teeny tiny. Oh, yes, bless I your was heart. teeny tiny. Yes. <laughs> but that's how it all started. And we're a family run business now. Uh, my mother's my partner. And, um, that's beautiful. Yeah. And my dad, uh, who has cancer, but oh, he, um, he started it off by making all the little parts and getting everything all set up for us. My son now has taken over. He now does all the wood parts. My uh, daughters help. Uh, my grandchildren, the ones that are old enough to help, they help as well. So yeah, we are truly a, uh, well, a Latina owned, Latina run family business. Yeah. Well, so. A round of applause, please. Yeah. Yeah. Very inspirational. Yeah. You know, yes. uh, so who does the design? I mean, the carving, you said that they handle the wood parts, but I mean, who actually designs like the, the imagery on that? Well, I do. I do. I designed all the body and, you know, we didn't want to do anything that copied. So mm-hmm. the opening is actually in the chest instead of the jaw. And plus, we didn't want to compromise the face because I'm sure really, the Heart Society will love that. Oh, yeah. You know, in fact, there's <laughs> a, we even put a little heart inside. See, I knew it. I knew yeah, it was coming. See? There's the heart. We open our hearts. They open their hearts to you. Now, on that, that yes, look yeah, at that. Look at so can you get a close up of this? Or, you know. See, look at that. Isn't that great? But I do. I do all the designing, I do all the drawing. I'm the artist. And um, so we didn't want to compromise the face, especially for those that we make that are the, you know, the caras normal. Uh, we wanted to show the beauty. I like that, I like that phrase. Yeah, that is no one. <laughs> Unlike the people that are around us. You know. <laughs> but no, we didn't want to compromise face. We wanted to show the beauty of the people. You know, we wanted to, I mean, the men are handsome. The women are beautiful, you know. And so we also do uh, Frida Kahlo. Oh, okay. And uh, one eyebrow, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, it almost okay. yeah. <laughs> Gotta be authentic, but much prettier, <laughs> but much prettier. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, that we have a, a we probably have over thirty designs. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you should, uh, sh- I can think of two other dolls you can make. You can make a Kiki doll, which would be perfect. <laughs> Oh, uh, can you make a kiki yeah, doll? Yeah, with a little flan like yes. this. With a little <laughs> flantini. Holding, holding her flantini. And yes. you know what would be great? Uh, Louis Mendes action figure. That would be perfect. Man. You know, he'd be awesome, man, with his guitar. You know, yeah, he's a great musician. No, this is really f- fantastic. I have to say that. That's fantastic. It is. Yeah, it is fantastic. fantastic. It is great? fantastic. So I mean, what is something? Uh, I can't really un- announce a price because mm-hmm. this is a government channel. But is this expensive? It's reasonable. We well, they are a little bit. They are. I would say probably they're a little bit on the pricier side. They're definitely not your um, target. Style, you know, Walmart, yeah, Walmart, aisle number yeah. five, clean they're, up. They're yeah, more of an artistic piece. Hold on, I don't want to drop this. Yeah, up here. they're more of an artistic piece, so they 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 are a little bit higher priced, and they really are a collector's item. I think that that's what makes yeah. them different, and they they have their own number. Um, they come with a certificate of authenticity. So anybody Smart. that has one of these, yeah, they know that they are getting something that's original and that they really can't find any place else in the world, really. We are the only ones that make these. We definitely do, man, gosh. And let's see, I'm looking for the number. How's people get a hold of you? <laughs> well, our website is www.latininspireddesigns.com 
and the phone number to reach us is 626-824-5946 and we're on Facebook you can find us and you can see our photos and um, yeah, there's a lot of photos of all the different dolls that we make. Yeah, I'm curious about the Virgin you have right here. Oh, yeah, the Virgin. How much that's popular? The Virgin is beautiful. We have uh, already quite a few orders for her, and she actually is going to be an art piece. She'll actually have a beautiful background, and her costume is beautiful. It's in red with gold, and, and it's really, really, really gorgeous. So do you go to events? Because, you know, we have a lot of artists that come on our show. Mm -hmm. Good friends of mine, including uh, Ms. Dolores Harrell. She's mm -hmm. one of the most outstanding uh, artists I've ever met. And they go to a lot of these art, you know, events, and they always bring, you know, um, some of their creativity. Mm -hmm. And I've seen something similar, but not as unique as this. Mm -hmm. And so, do you do you go to events like that? Can they catch you somewhere? Like, yeah, say, we go to different events. Like, uh, our next event is going to be at the Latino Book Festival at Cal State San Bernardino, okay. and uh, then we'll be at the Latino Book Festival in October. That's way in, a, you know, way mm -hmm. down the line. But yeah, we. Uh, we are at the LA Trade Show. Mm -hmm. We sell mm -hmm. our dolls to different stores. And uh, we're in lots of Day of the Dead events because I'm people sure. actually go now to look for us for our, our Dia de los Muertos. Uh, Did you go to the one? Uh, well, they have one over at Rose Hills. Rose Hills, yes. yes. We Maria. started since the beginning with Rose Hills. Okay. So that's one of our favorite events, yeah. And so, yeah, we, um, we're, like I say, we're in different <coughs> stores around the LA area. We're even in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're getting out there little by little. Yeah. Well, let's hear a round of applause for this young lady, man. It's a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of work. Well, wow. I do have to give a lot of credit to my mother because she does do beautiful work and uh, to my family because we could not do it without everybody pulling together. This truly is a family business. No, definitely, definitely. And I know you guys have a big future on this, that's for sure. Yeah, well, we hope so. Yeah. And speaking of big futures, like that segue, huh, folks? <laughs> we have next to you, Chef Kiki. Hello. Hello. Uh, Chef Kiki, <laughs> round of applause for Kiki. Yeah. <laughs> thank, gonna, you, thank you. We're going to make a sign so applause goes up every time you say Kiki. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Chef Kiki? Nothing Let's much. How are you? Okay, me here. Good. good to see you again. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Chef thank Kiki you. was at uh, this mm -hmm. real nice wedding expo this past uh, weekend. We're going to show a clip just briefly of it in just a few clicks. But what's next on the Kiki docket? What do we have going? Because I know you're always, you're always doing something. Yes. Well, I did the last two events in the last two weeks, which was Flantini Bars, a customized for your event. And it was at the Friendly Hills Country Club Expo. That was um, a great success. And I recently did Quite Cannon Vital Expo as well. And again, it was uh, another success. So. I do a beautiful Flantini bar, and it's very unique, so I'm wowing everybody, um, especially with the customized flavors from my father's Puerto Rican recipe that I cannot get tired of saying. And so um, I don't have anything lined up as far as expos. I'm very selective on, on what expos that I, uh, that I attend because my flan is uh, made fresh for the event, and, uh, and so I'm a little bit picky as to what I'm doing. So... Pretty much it's customized for your event, and so that way I can focus on, on yours. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, you got to check out those exciting pictures we took. We had Valerie take some pictures yes. of Chef Kiki. You can check it out on my Facebook or Chef Kiki's, where she's in front of this beautiful Rolls Royce. And once you get yes. past Kiki, you notice the Rolls Royce. And, you know, because she was all fat. <laughs> she had her plantini right there, and you're like, wow, you know. Yes, had, that was said, a lot of fun. I had a lot of people thinking that you actually owned that when she pulled on up. It's a great like, Facebook picture. It's my profile picture now. <laughs> oh, see, I got dumped. Before she used to like sitting at my desk. Now it's the, <laughs> that's the Rolls Royce. She moved on. But, yeah. you know, and uh, we're going to run the clip right now. And that way we can get a little taste of it. It's a little short clip, but it uh, shows some of her delicious creations that you'll see there at, at any time you get a chance to catch her. And then we'll give out the information <coughs> in case you want to order something. But it's got to be a big order. No less than $50,000 worth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so can we run the Chef Kiki clip? Yes. All right. Thank Please you. You're in Amani tonight. Well, here we are at Amani tonight and our one and only Chef Kiki. Okay. What's going on, Kiki? That the mud just is playing our beautiful Fantini bar here. Isn't she a pretty one? Oh, that's gorgeous. And so edible. Thank you. See, I always knew Kiki had a big heart, and here it is. There it is. 
So how's it going, Chef Kiki? Are we doing good today? Very well. People are loving it and the whole unique idea. And the flavors, they're enjoying that as well. So, All right. thank you. That's our Chef Kiki, folks. <laughs> I'm on it tonight. Maybe we could meet Sugar Expressions. Okay. okay. Honey, I, I want to introduce you to the world. Okay. This is, let her introduce herself. My name is Julie Humphrey, owner of Sugar Expressions in Uptown Whittier. So come and enjoy her goodies. Can you please get a photo of her scrumptious cupcakes? She is on Greenlee. Liz, Vega from here. Liz. Hi. Good. Hi. Good. 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 Say hi to your. Hello. <laughs> we got the mini cupcakes going on over there. I'm sure there's a phone number. 562-945-6100. Okay, we're going to invite you to come on our TV show now, Monty, if you don't mind. All right. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Sure. <laughs> okay, you'll do it. It's a lot of fun. It's really relaxed. Got them sneaking out. Little round of applause. I have to show these interviews of Chef Kiki only because she's going to be one of the panelists on our woman's talk show that will be happening at the end of March. We got th This is an exciting month for us here in Almonte TV because we have three brand new shows starting and Chef Kiki is going to be yes. one of them and eventually we're going to have the Chef Kiki show so you're going to stay tuned <laughs> for that because you know people can't get enough of her. So, any parting shots? We need the number. How do they get a hold of you, Chef Kiki? My number is 562-665-5115. My website is flantasticdesserts.com. And there you go. Man. Oh, on Facebook, Chef Kiki. There Thank you go. Okay, yes. <laughs> she has the Twitter and all that stuff's coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Susanna, once again, give us your website and phone number. Well, we are Latin Inspired Designs. Our phone number is 626 824-5946 and our website is www.latininspireddesigns.com and you can find us on Facebook under Latin Inspired Designs. Okay, well, what can I say, man? There's so much talent on here, I almost can't stand it. So, we're going to go with even more talent, known as the Latin Misfits here in Almani tonight. Because we get some energy. Take it away. Good job. You did very good. You did really, really good. good. How'd you feel? Good. You were under control, girl. Oh, you were next to me. Oh, that's okay.
Man, isn't that great? I tell you, that's such good stuff. Almost good. Somebody threw a cake at us. And I'm trying, I think this comes from uh, Pastries by Nancy. Wow. Let's see. They're in, uh, since Whittier coming soon. No. 761 East Altadena Drive in Altadena, California. And the telephone is 626 794 98 Three nine. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that as soon as I learn how to open the box. But the, our next guest, if I can get the box open, the, the, the band's coming after me. I tell you guys, I should have brought more cake, man. Seriously. Especially Tim, man. Tim's got a sweet tooth. Oh, my good. This will be great. Okay. Our next guest is Ruby Rose Sanchez from, what's that, Yoga Hermosa, the founder, and Maggie Ramirez from Peace Center of Well or in Wellness Center. I think is that right? Did I get that right? Yes, yeah, the Own Peace Center and the Own Wellness Center. That's easy for you to say. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so who's who? I'm Maggie. I'm Ruby. And I'm Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about. We'll start with uh, Maggie first. So she's closest. Well, the Own Peace Center is a space that I created to have um, availability for the community to get together and come. I do a lot of different trainings there. I do an abundance and prosperity workshop. I teach people how to meditate cool. and live a, a peaceful life, as well as um, provide that space. We do yoga on Mondays with Ruby Hermosa. And um, we also have, on Wednesdays, we also do a Weaving Women dance class just for women. Say that five times fast. <laughs> <laughs> weaving Women. Weaving Women <laughs> with uh, Raven, and she's amazing. And it's a sacred space that we create for women to come together and really dance and, and, and connect with your body and understand really what your body is saying. So it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful event. And then on Thursdays, we also open it up for the community to come and continue to grow and transform and, and just, you know, create a, a great community here in El Monte. It's nice. Sometimes the wom uh, woman needs to release all the stress, and it's one of the best things that you can just be yourself, you know, nobody can just bother you, enjoy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, when you create a sacred space for women to do that, it's really wonderful, it is. Yeah. It's a round of applause, that's a great idea. <laughs> so, and not to make light of the situation, but I got my sacred space here. Yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sharing his sacred space. <laughs> no, I will be passing out the samples. I, I don't think uh, <clears throat> that uh, Pastries by Nancy, I don't think they were expecting this many hungry mouths. Okay, next. Next on the dais. Um, well, I'm Ruby Rose and I have founded Yoga Hermosa and um, it's just basic. I just want to bring yoga to communities that basically can't afford a, a basic yoga class, which typically can be a little bit pricey. Mm -hmm. And also just bring it to communities that need yoga and I feel all communities need yoga. Um, Almani needs it. Yes, I, I agree. So, you know, to bring us into center ourselves. And I've been working very closely with Maggie, and we have quite a few projects going on at the Own Peace Center. And one of the big ones is our peace movement that we have going on and that we're going to be bringing to El Monte in June. Now, wait a minute. You say peace movement. You guys are not going to go up protest with signs or anything? No. <laughs> See, it's peace movement, so there's no protest. Well, that was the peace movement when I grew up back in the Stone Age. It's, it's, it's transforming and evolving okay. but it's a day where um, you scare me when you say evolving because she gets into evolving she's gonna be <laughs> flying in a few minutes like <laughs> superpowers you know? no um but it's a it's a day or weekend um that we we are creating to unite everyone in peace for the name of peace right you know? right so it's you know you don't we're not worried about what religion you are, what sex preference, what political views you have. It's all about just coming together that day or coming together that weekend for the name of peace and just to share um, as a community, as people. And uh, we want to share this not only with El Monte, but with every community. We are definitely connecting with other cities that are joining forces with us. and um, To evolve. To evolve. Okay, I want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> to evolve <laughs> and levitate. Yes, we're going to do the, I know. Too bad uh, Louis can't join. Uh. I know Louis in here somewhere. He's back there. Well, that you know, that's a fantastic idea, yes. as we see around here. You know what, Gigi, you should get her for the woman show. Have him come on as one of the guests. Yes, yes. 
So I think we it'll do a great did job. We did hear that, and we, uh, we have a, that could be another project. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you guys got some things going there. So, you know, yoga, so on the yoga aspect, it's just for women, right? No, it's it's for everybody. Everybody okay. needs yoga in their life to find some centering, especially nowadays. Uh, I mean, I mean, personally, I'm always going, 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 and that's actually when I when I actually reached out and I found yoga just to kind of calm myself, to center myself. I mean, the stress levels that most of us experience and and anxiety that we can bring upon ourselves can be can be deathly to us, yeah. and we just need to take that time to just disconnect from everything that we have going on. You can't say that in a TV studio. <laughs> That's not a good phrase. We don't want anything to disconnect. Not know. in the studios. <laughs> but release. Yeah, exactly. So to release. Okay, release. Who wants to come? That's why he's mentioning. No, yes. Try, <laughs> try hosting a talk show where we <laughs> talk about your stress. But no, no. It sounds like a, a real uh, exciting. You're in. You're in. Australia. Yes. Don't worry about it. And I think a lot of people are coming. And I think one of the main things that I, I see is, you know, yoga is a moment to, to relieve stress. And stress brings on a lot of illnesses to a lot of people um, specifically cancer and you know I, I would it's my gift to give to the community to find a way to heal themselves yeah, well that's you know uh, not to cut you off it just I always think of a phrase somebody once told me that disease means dis-ease that's right yeah that's, that's right. I believe that yeah. and through yoga and through me and meditation you are able to find that inner peace and that's really what we're looking for for everyone to find that their own inner peace whatever that means to you but get there and, and find it so that you you're not in that space of you know too much drama and stress and hectic life just be able to find your inner peace at every moment in your life I think we're that's, gonna the, keep that's the best medicine for the people to um, you know come and enjoy the yoga with yeah. you and um, do any activities in today exactly it helps people to release the stress either be uh, music dancing sport yoga anything you do flan it's flan Yes, <laughs> I it's agree with that. Stress, whatever you like yes. to do. Yes, flan at the peace <laughs> center. <laughs> so yeah, that way, everybody gets a piece. <laughs> a piece, a piece. There you go. <laughs> but I do need to, if I could say this one thing, is that um, I think a lot of people fear whether it's any kind of physical activity, especially yoga, because you know they promote yogis doing these really crazy poses there is no perfect yoga yeah. at all everybody i mean through practice and anything that you do you're going to become better at it and your body's just going to adapt to it i mean our bodies are going to be very tight at the beginning because we're holding on to so long and as as we begin to release your body will become more flexible and you'll I'm be able to stretch in poses i'm so never proud thought. of you to doing those kind of job for the public and uh, how they can find you? What's the number? And oh, okay. Um, well, Yoga Hermosa is pretty much offered every day except for Sunday. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I am at the South Amani Community Center at 6 p.m. And on Mondays, I am at the Peace Center. Uh, that's a donation-based class. And Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, I teach at the UFC gym. So if you're members, you can come join me. Wait, but wait, I do. What, what, what gym? The UFC gym in Rosemead. Oh, okay. That's not where they beat people up, is it? <sighs> and they tend to have some fighting going on, but I hear it's supposed to be play so fighting. <laughs> I get the fighters after a fight, and I bring them back. I think we need to evolve here, okay? <laughs> yes. Please be with me. Um, and I am also on Facebook, Yo Hermosa with Ruby Rose on Facebook, and I also have a blog. It's Ruby Rose Sanchez. Dot WordPress, and you can also call me at 626-350-3332, and that's pretty much it. Okay, well, awesome. let me tell you, this is so good, and the time runs out so quick. I just want to get a shot of all this good food that um, Tim is going to eat. Come there and join. <laughs> See, I know they weren't expecting him because they got like, you know, I'll tell you what. Look at, look at, they're all happy. Look at Louie and <coughs> Jamie. Well, I want to thank you very much. And I'm, like, I'm serious about you coming back to do more of our shows. Thank so you. I want to thank everybody here because we're going to turn it over to the band. This is Arturo Esparza. I want to thank all our guests. 
I want to thank Chef Kiki as usual, my inspiration, my muse. I want to thank uh, Valerie who's out there taking pictures. Jose's on the camera. Louis Mendez coming there. Nadi Ne right next to me. I want to thank Jamie Neary, the voice of Al Monte. We want to thank, of course, my man, Diego Agogo, back there in the out of control room. And thank all of you. And, of course, this band, the Latin Misfits. Tell you, be good to each other. Do not drink and drive. We want to see you get back once again when it is time for El Monte tonight. Take care. Peace out.